what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since i'm about halloween ends in this video here again today so jamie lee curtis was at the oscars this past sunday uh last week and she was interviewed and got briefly asked about halloween ends and she kind of from how i was interpreting it teasing michael myers fate in the upcoming film that we know is coming later this october so when asked about if Michael Myers is is dead because she went ahead and said, you know, the movie's called Halloween ends, so it ends. So then the follow up to that was, is Michael Myers dead? Like just what's going on with that? And her response was, well, you know, there's there's dead and and then there's then there's dead. But what what does that mean in in the Halloween universe? So considering those words from her, yeah, what is dead in this universe? Well, in the past. From what we've seen and, uh, and i'm just not i'm not just gonna only recognize this timeline i'm gonna recognize everything that we've gotten so far this character has never actually died in any of these movies so are they going to keep that theme up are they going to again have something happen which is what i think they should do which makes it look like he has died but ultimately he is not dead or again you can have something happen where it looks like he has died but very similar to how the 2018 film end we could hear subtle breathing or like i said before what dave mccray has suggested a voiceover comes on your screen of dr loomis who's been watching from beyond the grave telling you or with the little words of you think you fooled them michael or you fooled them michael but not me and then the movie just ends which will plant the seed in your mind that he did not just die and whatever it is that happens in the end of halloween ends and that the shape potentially still lives on and that will just keep the conversation going surrounding this character for many years to come which is probably why not touching this ip for another several years after this would be best for that type of discussion that an ending like that could bring surrounding what that character represents surrounding whether or not he actually died or if he he did not die and why he survived or why he didn't survive just going off of the way she worded it that's how death has been in this whole franchise up until this point excluding rob zombies movies so i know michael myers got gunned down if you watch the director's cut <laughs> so with that in mind what is death in this universe death has always been i i appear to be dead but somehow i i i made my way through a little hole in the ground <laughs> before you could throw dynamite down the uh down the coffin or grave that i was in or you know i swapped clothes with someone before you chopped my head off um i swapped clothes once again in the sixth movie where i switched clothes <laughs> with the man in black um or I just I took my clothes off and just left my mask. If you watch the theatrical version of the sixth movie, or with Halloween two, where he does definitively die there, but you know they they that's a whole entire retcon just for the sake of how they had to bring him back for four and onward, where he was burned alive, his eyesight is somehow restored. <laughs> uh, you know, death has never actually been something where this character has been dead even going back to the original it's been something where okay i get shot six times i'm i'm clearly shown not moving my doctor comes to look over the balcony and i'm i'm gone i'm clearly not like most humans there's something that's not normal here there's something not right i got shot six times fell off a balcony and i'm still up walking around Again, that's not something that it's impossible to survive. It's most likely that Loomis just did not hit any vital organs. <laughs> uh, so when considering that and then considering even resurrection, you know, I get burned to a crisp yet again. Someone goes to take my mask off, my eyes open. You know, th this character has just never died. Or Halloween 5, someone, someone breaks me out of jail. The character has never actually died on screen in any of his movies, excluding, again, the Rob Zombie continuity. This character has not died. So in Halloween ends, are they just going to keep that up? Or is he actually going to be definitively dead? She didn't make that really clear. Again, she was teasing what his fate would be. She again said there's dead and then there's dead. Uh, so when she said the first dead, I'm thinking about the endings that we've gotten in the past where he has seemingly quote unquote died. But, you know, there's been indications that he actually did not die even with the ending of halloween 4 with the fact of it teasing us that jamie was going to carry it on that to some people might indicate that maybe michael also isn't dead either because 
how can his how can his energy live on being passed on into someone else if he has died something like that even with jamie appearing like she was going to take up the mantle some people even thought that that was a sign that michael survived at the end of halloween 4 and of course when you go watch halloween 5 you get your answer that he in fact did but again the character has never died and then she had the second time she said dead where it sounded like you know what we all think of eyes closed six feet deep people come to visit you leave roses not that michael myers would get many visitors you know what i mean <laughs> uh so is that going to happen is he actually going to be shown as deceased he's not going to be coming back or anything like that there's not going to be any doubt in your minds that he is somehow still alive we're going to see his head blow up or something like that we're going to see him get burned alive and we're going to watch his watch the life leave his body we're going to see him definitively be dead or again is it going to be more like the first dead <laughs> that she used where we have a ending that will at least confirm that Lori potentially dies if Lori dies but then something happens where it's not really concrete that Michael died. There's that doubt planted in your head, but also they make it a point to keep you guessing by reinforcing that no, he did die. He's not still alive. It all depends on how they manage to execute it, of course, because it could be an ending that many people are upset about as jamie herself has already stated or an ending that many people could have a philosophical debate about which is what i think you can accomplish by having a voiceover from a character who died many years ago speaking from beyond the grave with dr loomis saying that oh you fooled them michael but not me and the movie just ends this isn't outwardly saying that you know he's alive it could just be dr loomis's way of again trying to hype up the mystique of the character but then to the casual viewer the general public that's planting seeds of doubt in their mind that he did not die there's always a chance for them to revisit this timeline and explain how he ultimately did survive but they're not going to do that because david gordon green's iteration will stop at this point but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below i'll leave a link to it in the description to watch the video if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification there is a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video